Hello everyone. I know I've not done many videos for today, but I'm a few technical problems with my camera. The SD card is now full on the one I've been using. <coughs> and I've tried to put the new one in and it's coming up saying cannot format, so I'm gonna have to reformat them. I think I set them up ready for the GoPro, not for the Osmo that I'm using now. So I'm doing this video on my phone. So I apologize if it's a bit bouncy or shaky or a bit close up. Um, so yeah, if you just bear with me. So this is the current landscape view we're walking on. Um, <laughs> just bouncy. See you in front, we're about four, maybe five miles from our destination. Um, hoping to get to town tonight with Julian. We just booked a hotel on our last stop. I'm gonna stay in some old styled place called Gold Rush Joe. Yeah. Gold Rush, so it's a bit like themed in the old western, so that might be quite nice and fun for us. Um, like we said before, we're gonna try and get the tent fixed. Joe's gonna get some new trainers. We haven't decided whether to stay one night or two yet, but we're probably just gonna stay the one night. It's quite expensive. But yeah, this is the terrain we're walking on today is a bit rocky underfoot. If you don't keep an eye out properly, you roll your ankle on some of the loose rocks. So I'm trying to be really careful while I'm filming this. Um, but I am noticing a lot more cacti and similar sort of beasts. Hello everybody, day eight and we're having a zero in Julian. Um, we weren't planning on doing this, but the heavens opened and fortunately we got wind that it was gonna happen. Um, the thunder and lightning's been banging and clattering for a while now. As perfection, there you go, a bit of thunder. Um, the rest of the group have gone back out on trail except for Nika one call so a few beers some wine put our feet up we've just changed hotel and we're in a really nice hotel now so to show you that room as well um, anybody watching this coming behind us julian's the most friendly town we've been to yet on the trail um, we highly recommend the julian hotel also known as Gold Rush, which is where we stayed last night. It was really, really nice, which is on screen now. Um, tonight we're staying at the lodge. We paid an extra $20 in the room, it's just superb. So we're gonna get everything dried and washed. We have a, we have a laundry service there. So we're gonna get all our stuff properly washed and cooking for us, so that'd be good. Uh, right now we're gonna nip across the grocery store and get our last few bits of Max and stuff for the trail and then took ourselves away for the night in the room till we go for the Italian um, it's just started hailstoning again here now so uh, we're going to put the camera away ciao Joe 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 just really got ran over because she's looking at she's, <laughs> she's that used to being in the UK she's looking the wrong way on the road so she nearly got ran over oh what a tragic event but yeah I am still here I'm alright 
So there, that was a bit of drama. So yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna leave you for now and we'll catch up with you later. Hello. Oh, oh she's got all sorts today, yeah. Give it a taste. Good pie. So Joe's are hard at work fixing the tent. So we've got a tent repair kit. Don't from block the light. The shop. Don't block the light down. Which has every type of zip under the sun. Still don't know. We don't need many little attachments. Oh, we don't need a black zip, yeah. some stitching that we might need, some sewing needles in a nice little tube, a repair kit help guide, and yeah, so we're going to give that a whirl and see how we get on. Um, one of the other guys in the group got the same issue, but so we're hoping that out of the bits we have left over. Impulse, aka Matt, might be able to do something similar and fix that. So Joe's hard at work. I could kill him. She could kill me. But while I've got my phone in my hand, let's just show you what happens when hikers hit a, a room for the night. So this looks like it's just exploded, but Joe shows me it's tactical. It's allowing things to dry. That's my little section. Everyone knows I'm a tidy person. We've just done a restock for our next Are you move. Going this tent yourself? So we're going for it now. And so yeah, this is a lovely big room for us tonight. I think big TV that we don't know what to watch because it's just American channels. We're gonna try and watch a bit of Netflix. And we smell of bum. And we smell of bum, like badly. So a shower or a bath is important. But this is, we've only been in the room about an hour and we've been out of the room for about 20 minutes doing a shop. So actually this is despicable. Good morning everybody. Day nine, just had a nice zero. Just what you need after a nice zero. Two miles up a hill, straight up. It's about, I think it's about 2,000 feet. Two mile up, so probably gonna be about a mile an hour just to get our legs going again after having a rest. Um, it's red hot today, 25 degrees in English terms. I'm not 100% sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but I think it's about 80, I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, today back on the trail, straight uphill, brilliant. Had a brilliant zero on Julian. Highly, highly recommend anybody doing the PCT behind the stops at Julian. It's by far the best place I've stopped. Um, three places I recommend is hotel wise, the lodge is a really nice comfortable place. The staff behind the counter were wonderful. Um, I do offer a laundry service. It's quite a large bag for $15. Um, sounds quite a lot, but if there's two or three you can easily fill that bag up and split the cost um, but the rooms are really comfortable we we got a slightly larger room and snuck impulse in with us so there ended up being three of us in the room but we got a small fridge microwave um, coffee machine so it was just really nice to have a few comforts the extra meat ridge we had space just let us get everything out of our bag, repack our bag and check it. 
so that was a nice place to stay if that's full we also stayed at the gold rush for a night as well on the first night we got in quite late and the lodge was fully booked that was a really nice place it's, again really welcoming hiker friendly just a bit smaller um, it, it's a fine for two people but I think you wouldn't want to try and get three if you're in that room in terms of food we ate out at the Italian both nights um, Romano's just simply because we didn't want to be disappointed with food and it was so nice on the first night and the service was brilliant so we thought we'd just go back to what we know we got a pizza on the first night which was lovely on the second night I got um, cheese tartellini um, really really nice both times so if you're looking for somewhere to eat I really recommend Romano's apparently the salads are the best in the area as well I don't really eat salads as you can probably tell by looking at me so yeah it's, and obviously the most famous stop in Julian is mom's pie shop I just think they're brilliant for what they do for the hikers so for those who don't know if you show your PCT permit you get a free slice of pie from there's about eight options on the list uh, with ice cream and you get a drink and it comes to for me and joking it about 30 32 dollars and they just completely wipe it to zero so they don't charge it at all and it's just another kind gesture that you see um, it's just really 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 appreciated by everybody what they do and it's absolutely beautiful the pie as well so win-win um, and finally another thing I'd like to say is if you need any gear while you're out on the trail replacing fixing advice two foot adventures opposite mom's is just brilliant it's the guy in there is just he has your uh, he has you laughing while he's explaining things and we went in with our broken tent and he was wonderful with it we got a tent repair kit from him and we've we've sort of fixed our tent to a point best we can and we'll see how it lasts but um without him and his help we wouldn't have got anywhere and affordability wise it's really cheap to buy hiker food as well so yeah that's julian feeling rested straight up a hill Half an hour in, my legs are already tired. So, back to it. So there won't be much of a video for yesterday, but I think there'll be a couple today. We're aiming for 14 mile today. Like I say, two mile uphill. And the toughest part of it all, there's no water stops along the way. So it's 14 mile, 25 degrees. And I've got three litres of water on me. Um, so we're going to have to take it really steady. So I'll speak to you later and let you know how we're getting on. Take care. Bye now. trail halfway through the day about seven seven ish miles in so about halfway to the 14 mile water stop um, got the big hill out of the way it was a nice way to start the day after a couple of days rest I um, I always really suffer with my Achilles when I start the day on a straight on a big hill it just burns like crazy I've suffered with it for a most of my hiking days really now it's just something I accept I can stretch and warm up best I can it still doesn't really help so that was a bit of a tough start but like you say halfway in and we're loving life again back out on the trail 
Joe's got new wind soles in her shoes today, so hopefully that helps with the, the rock pit problem. Um, just getting them right to start with was a bit of a chore for her, but I think she might have got there now, so it's good news. Long water carry, so trying to be gentle with the water. Just another challenge, really. It's all part of the adventure. But still, I know I keep saying it over and over again, but the views just make this so worthwhile. It's just amazing. When you need motivation, it's there. Started listening to a bit of music today while I'm walking, just for a bit of a change and refreshing things up. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, it's been a bit of a warm one today. Been averaging between 25 and 22 degrees, so it's warm. So we got all our clothes washed yesterday in town and stink again already. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, got a nice hitch out this morning. That was our first hitch into town, the first hitch out of town today for me and Joe. First time I've ever hitchhiked, so that was a good experience. Um, the hitch out was a planned one. The lovely lady called Fossil Lady. She's a paleontologist, retired paleontologist, so that's where her trail name comes from. Um, but yeah, it's back from 2,000 feet starting today up to back up to about 4,500 feet now. Um, I think we're on about mile 87 or 88 in terms of start and about mile 10 for the day, so four more to go. So... If you look over there, can you see the corpuscular rays coming from the sky? They're just, but anyway, we carry on marching. It's a bit nicer underfoot today, a bit softer and less rocky. Um, I'm rocking out the, the shorts for the first time today since the PCT. I have noticed every time I go past some sort of plant life, it's scratchy more than. I realised I won't have itchy legs tonight. But four miles to the water stop, four miles to camp. First day back on the trail. It's definitely what true what people say. Having a day or so off, your legs don't have to feel it when you come back on. It's uh waking legs up day to day, so but yeah, Joe's ahead. Nika in front of Joe. Hello everybody, so we're about half an hour away from camp, being a really tough day, my advice to anyone leaving Julian is just be really aware that you've got a really long 15 mile water carry, I think you leave Julian and then mile 91 is your, your aim for the 10 site. But there's no water stops along the way and it's straight into a big hill as soon as you start so two probably two hours straight off up a hill to get you back to the, the sort of right elevation again and then the day itself's just a lot of up and downs so going up a thousand feet down a thousand feet several times across the day so just make sure when you leave Julian you've got at least three or four litres of water especially if it's a hot day um, food wise again you're going to be burning a lot of calories so just try your best to refuel but just take it easy try and stretch out over seven or eight mile, uh, seven or eight hours don't overdo this section I think you'll get a lot of blisters and sores from overdoing it. Our pace today has been an average of about two miles an hour. <clears throat> I really wouldn't recommend going much faster than that, unless you're really fit. Everybody knows their own body. Two miles an hour is enough for me. I'm looking forward to getting to camp, getting my trainers off, getting my Crocs on. Love a pair of Crocs. Stretch my feet out. Do some stretching very important and then relax with a nice posh glass of water and some food perfect 
Good morning everybody, day 10, so good night's sleep last night, going to camp quite late, um, but I had a really good sleep, some nice food. The campsite at mile 91 that we stayed at had a water cache, which I'll insert a photo here of it. Um, so whoever's done that, thank you very much, there was a ton of water there. Um, it's a bit of a steep walk down to it for those coming behind us. About half a mile down the hill, which is fine. But then it's half a mile coming back up the hill with water. So just bear that in mind when you're doing a long day. Save a bit of energy. Um, there was a guy who had clearly just thought, I'm just going to take my bag down and camp out next to it. So that's an option for you. There are. 10 spots available if you want to do that so today just a quick 10 mile into Ranchita Bodega to collect a parcel um, it's our first parcel from Backpacking Foodie um, I highly highly recommend Aaron from Backpacking Foodie she's been absolutely brilliant we, we, oop, tripped over. we refer to her as our trail mom um, as international hikers, it was just incredible having someone that we could message questions or get advice. Just even sending anything we need to with the peace of mind that it's going to come back to us. So for instance, our ice axes, um, some seconds like sort of spare clothing, just in case any of ours breaks. Sometimes you just... You know what you know and you know what you've got is good enough. So why spend more money on things as you're walking around if you can get a few things sent to, over to Aaron and she can hold on to it for you. So, um, and on, if you look on her website, I'll put a link on below, but she has lots of dehydrated vegetables and smoothies, a lot more nutritious food than you'd get from town stops. Especially, like I say, the freeze-dried or dehydrated meals. So, um, yeah, she's like a little angel, bless her. So she's been brilliant for us so far. So we'll get that parcel today. Um, depending on the time when we get there, we may stay in a, ten a tent site just outside. There is a cheap campsite there, so we might even just stay there. Um, and then get back on the trail. So, uh, well, like I say, with... The international hikers in mind obviously we're from the UK anybody who's watching these videos if you're really enjoying them and you want to see a better version of what we're doing or a more detailed version or a completed version even there's three really good people I recommend from the UK that have vlogged the PCT um, firstly is um, the little Yorkshire Rose Mary Mansfield she did a fantastic job she was one of the first people we watched from start to finish um, she's also really useful if you're vegetarian or vegan because that's what she sort of hiked the PCT with that in mind so anybody who's doing that I advise you check her out she's also done some really good post PCT videos about budgets and finance um, I think they're about four or five year old now so just be a little bit mindful of that um, then the other one is the Welsh legend that is Lord Keish. He was he was the first one that I really enjoyed watching. Mary was great, but Lord Keish had a very similar sense of humour to me, um, and I really enjoyed the way he sort of edited his videos and the information he shared and how he sort of recorded things. So Lord Keish is another one I recommend. And finally is. A lovely little Irish girl called Ash O'Brien from last year. Um, really fun, really enjoyable, really entertaining videos. Again, if you want to know about budgeting and things, we probably won't even do a video because hers is that good. You might as well just watch hers. Um, she's really, really positive about it. And um, she had a tough start. She had to delay her start because of COVID. So... Um, she didn't have the easiest to start herself but got through it and again did a fantastic job so 
there's three people if you're from the UK to watch there are many many others and there's many others that I've watched that I've enjoyed but I just found them three my, my sort of top three if you will so yeah on to Ranchi de Bodega we're about a mile and a half two miles in so I'm gonna get a walk in because as you've probably noticed I've already tripped over once because I'm not watching where I'm going um, so I'll catch up with you soon but day 10 another hot one fun and games ahead hello everyone again so we're on about mile 96 now halfway through the day it's about oh it's interesting I'm not looking in it that looks like a home from outline if ever I've seen one very spooky very very spooky so yeah I'm sorry I got sidetracked <laughs> um, yeah five mile in halfway through the day so we're gonna put a rush on now because we need to get to the shuttle point um, by five o'clock got about three and a half hours mostly flat from now onwards positively so we should make it with enough time to spare um, yeah another hot one another another hot one um, I've just put shorts on yesterday and I've gone through all this really sharp branches it's ripping my legs to shreds so I think I might put my trouser legs back on for tomorrow yeah so here comes Jo with a little surprise for waiting for her Da, 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 da. Oh. How does that feel, Joe? I've got goosebumps. Oh. I didn't have to do that, what, like 26 of our time? 26 and a half. Oh, yeah. What's that stat? Is it 30% of people give up by 100 mile? Between 25 and 30%. Give up between 100 before, like, within the first 100 mile, and you can totally tell why, because it's blooming hard. Yeah. <laughs> Like every day I'm broken to my maximum of being broken without actually collapsing. But we've done it, Joe. Yeah, and every day you get up and enjoy it all over again, like you're happy again and you're glad to be on trail. That's fantastic. Great news. Yeah. I got a case of the restless legs, yeah, and timeless wandering.